How's everybody doing? Is everybody uh, get uh, their curiosity whetted on the on the first video that we did? One of the things that you need to understand is, uh, you know, I'm kind of off the wall, and that's the reason these videos are not edited. Uh, I am who I am. Um, we I work in, in what we call direct identity. When you uh, when you're looking at ABC thinking, and uh, I'll just, we'll just touch on a little bit of it right now to give you just a little bit more of an idea of, of really what ABC thinking is. Um, when when we look at at Moses and his communication with God, uh, these guys are talking very analytical, very very what we call um, in in concepts of of ideas and, and uh, developments and thought processes because they were working with a group of people the children of Israel would come out that were very animistically minded and and their their thought processes weren't of God they couldn't really even process the miracles that God brought in to get them released uh, with the plague of the frogs and the plague of the all the different plagues that he brought in and everything, they really couldn't even get their head around it. And so once they get out and get away from the the Egyptians, you know, first thing they do is they want to build a golden calf because that's all they knew. Uh, because they were, you know, they were they basically were trained in their thinking. What ABC thinking does, if you if you really un, uh, get into it. Uh, we found out that the, the gentleman that did the, the uh, initial work on this identified three styles of thinking for everybody. And those three styles of thinking, is, is he identified it as A thinking, which is analytical thinking. Everybody does a little bit of analytical thinking. Then everybody also has a B style thinking, which is tied into what you know are concrete particulars, but basically we just lay it out there in a simple fact that it's just the knowledge that you have, whether or not you can apply it, that that depends on how analytical you are. And then you have the seaside of thinking, which is the emotional side. And we find a lot of people actually believe in God through emotion, not through understanding of, of knowledge and this type of thing. So what were you what we really work with with people is to help them have a balance of, of each one of these styles of thinking. And when you have this, this balance, then the analytical A basically will be the guidance or the uh, accentuator of B and C. In other words, it, it runs it, A being the analytical side or the uh, concept, concept development side. So if you have an idea or, or somebody gives you some, some new knowledge on something, you can actually reach into an analytical side of yourself and, and reach out there and, and start getting different ideas, things that don't really coordinate with, with uh, your culture or, or who you, you know, what you're used to being around, this type of thing. So you can learn different things and not be tied into what we call basically a, a box or a crab pot or a compartment, be compartmentalized in your thinking and, and tied down. This gives you the open door that we see a lot of people have out there that are very successful. And C, the C thinking too many times, if it's tied to fear, that's going to take over and, and run everything. So no matter how analytical you want to be, or whatever information you have, it's all going to be driven by the fear that has in C. So what you want to be able to do is take and understand how you were thinking in each one of these, and we actually have a, a course or a class out here that we can work you guys through. And I can do it either via uh, the this, these videos, or the guys that are showing these videos to you can do it themselves. They've all gone through it. They're all very knowledgeable in what needs to be done. But what uh, you need to be doing is realizing that, that you know we can always think better. And, and one of the things that 
you got to realize is in Genesis 1.26, God said, let us make man in our image and our likeness and our character and our deed. And the thing is, is the thinking style of God is part of that nature, character, and deed that he has. And this is one of the things that we try to do is get people into that understanding so they can think in the same nature, character, and deed as God. And therefore, they can work with God. Um, it, 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 it's like moving from apples and oranges to apples and apples or oranges and oranges on, on, on understanding where God is and with his, with his uh, wanting our, uh, we want to do his will. Um, too many times we go out and we tell God, you know, do this and we demand this out of him, demand that out of him. When in fact, you know, if, if, if we really understand God's will and we are thinking like him, he's going to prepare our, our thought processes so we can handle these issues and be transformation and agents of change in, in this world. Um, God does these things for us, don't get me wrong. But he uses us as tools and the more effective we, the more way better we can communicate with him, the more effective we are for him. And that's what makes us effective tools is whenever we're thinking in the likeness of God. With that said, when we look at A, you know, A, and somebody that's an ABC thinker, and A is driving the other thinking practices, and it is the concept out there that your 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 all your knowledge is going through, and 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 it's and it's controlling the emotional side. So you're looking at things in in total reality. Uh, we actually will build an identity in Christ, which is actually a direct identity. Our agency will even be. Uh, in, in, in sync with God, if you will. Whereas if B is in control, we are in, 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 and we're just following what we've been told. We don't have ownership in any of the information. And the thing, and if we don't have ownership in it, we don't have an identity in it. So therefore our identity is displaced. It's actually displaced by other people that have come in and, and told us what to do and what to think. If our identity's in C or our, our, our C's running everything and it's in fear, then we don't, we don't have an identity. It's basically an identity that's, that's uh, totally, well, B is, B is indirect and C is actually displaced. We don't have an identity, we, so we just follow the group. And so uh, when, we, when we see these things, uh, this is, this is where building an ABC thinking style in Christ and in ourselves gives us a direct relationship and a better relationship on handling who Christ is and being able to have a relationship with Him so that His will is done in our lives. Um, I had <laughs> in our in in, a, in the the last while, you know, and all of you guys have experienced this. This is COVID nineteen uh, uh, situation that's running around the world, and a so called pandemic, if you will. Um, one of the questions that was thrown out there is an ABC thinker. How do you deal with this? Well, number one, you know, and then the ABC thinker is going to analyze everything about it. Is how bad is it? Somebody gives it, tells us what it is. Are we just going to take their word for it? Or are we going to investigate it ourselves? That's you know, this is what an ABC thinker is going to do. He's going to investigate how bad that virus is. He's going to investigate what that virus does. He's going to investigate the you know, how strong the virus is and how it affects people and this type of thing. The other thing he's going to do is look at the, the way the political field is handling the situation. Are they consistent? Are all of the things that they're throwing out there consistent with everything else that's going on? Are they crippling the country on the economics in lieu of overreacting on things where 
people themselves could could handle the situation. Um, an ABC thinker is going to look at all of these things and make their own mind up. Will they follow the law? Of course. They're going to follow the law as far as they can They can do it normally. I'm not here to tell anybody what they're supposed to do in that case. But an ABC thinker needs to be somebody that, first of all, doesn't take any information for granted without investigating it themselves. And they follow what people are doing to see if what they're doing is, is reacting correctly to the uh, issue at hand. And, and instead of just following the leader and following what people are telling them to do. And this is just one of the questions that was brought up. I hope that you guys come up with more questions on these things. Um, this takes us to uh, a next, uh, our next video that we're going to do, and uh, and but as you guys bring questions to me, before we get into the next video, we'll answer questions. Okay, thank you.